But hello everybody, um, welcome back after the Easter break, hope you all had a good Easter and all that lot and didn't eat too much chocolate because I, I did enough for everybody so nobody <laughs> else needs to, it's just me and there's me drinking the hot chocolate now, That's, I've really learned my lesson haven't I? Uh, we all good? Right, can I just ask that you could just put your mobile phones on silent or just turn them off for me just so we don't get any sort of like, I mean the only communication we want is through our mediums, not other people texting and phoning, that's <laughs> all good for us. <laughs> Mad scramble. Mine's on. Mine's 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 on. Do not disturb. I'm good. I've way ahead of myself there, so that's good. <sighs> we are good. Right. Well, thank you all for coming again. I am going to pass you over to Pauline to do opening prayer for us. If that's okay. Oh, Hi everyone. Who sit in the silence as we open up this evening in prayer? <clears throat> as we join here together in the silence today. I would like to ask that everyone here open up their hearts and their minds to their loved ones. So as they draw close, you can feel their presence amongst you. As we join the two worlds together, I ask the Great Spirit that Angelina and myself bring through evidence that life still continues after physical passing. So we can bring reassurance and upliftment to those in attendance that their loved ones are still there. And I also ask that we work in truth, light, and love. I'll now leave this evening in the hands of the spirit world. Amen. Thank you. Right, you all know the drill by now. Here's our healing book. Um, you can put any names in it afterwards that you need to as well if you haven't put any in now. Um, but all I need you to do is just take, after I've read it out and read the names out, just take a moment just to visualise these people, just get a little bit of help, just getting being in a better situation than they are now and any way that you think you can send good thoughts out to them. So Great Spirit, we gather here tonight in this place of love and upliftment to ask for strength and healing to be sent to those who need it but don't ask for it, for those who can't ask for it, for our animal kingdom and for those listed below. So we've got Jan and family, Dougie, Vicky, Darren, AC, <laughs> Raymond, Terry, Melanie, Suze, Jenny, Andy, Maureen and Roy. So if you could just take a moment just to think of them, like I said, in a better position, that'd be great. Great, thank you so much. Oh, someone's got to remind me that next time I do this, not to just automatically sort of like stand on one leg like a flamingo because I really <laughs> wobble and I have to readjust myself and it's really bad. Okay, so normally I would read out a little something um, and I did have something ready to read out, um, but then this came up for me. Um, we had a bit of sad news earlier. We actually had um, an old family friend pass away. Um, and it just, it reminds you just how short life can be, even when we have places like this. And um, this guy was brought to my attention the other day. As everyone probably knows, I'm a little bit of a Jerry Anderson fan. And this guy is running his um, 23rd marathon. And it's his last marathon. I put his details up on our Facebook page. But I just wanted to share his story with everybody. Just because it's a true story of just determination and just trying to beat the odds and trying to do something good even when you're at your lowest. So this guy says, my story. This is it, my final marathon. Over the last 21 years, I have competed the London Marathon in a number of costumes, such as the deep sea diving suit, St George pulling a dragon, Indiana Jones being chased by a boulder, the Iron Giant robot on stilts, the Beatles yellow submarine, and even crawling around the course as Brian the Snail from the Magic Roundabout. I actually saw him doing that one year. <laughs> Um, I hope that I managed to put a smile on people's faces with these efforts. He's also done the first underwater marathon in Loch Ness and ridden around a desert on a penny farthing for charity. So, but during the last couple of years, I've been battling an extremely raw, raw, rare form of cancer called cervical sarcoma. 
In 2021, having undergone major surgery to remove a massive tumour from my throat, I was informed that it was cancerous. I underwent several weeks of radiotherapy, followed by several further months of pretty unpleasant side effects. My first two scans after the operation were clear, and I thought the treatment had done the trick and rid me of cancer. Somewhat disappointingly, my third scan revealed the cancer returned in a virtually inaccessible location behind my right jaw. In August 2022, I underwent an epic 13 and a half hour operation to remove the tumour, surrounding tissue and to reconstruct my mouth and throat. Following complications, just two days later, I was rushed back into theatre for further emergency life-saving surgery. A huge part of the motivation during my recovery was to thank those amazing surgeons and to raise funds and pro the profile of the Sarcoma UK charity by putting on a costume and competing the London Marathon one last time. Just seven months after my surgery, thanks to the expertise of these surgeons and the support of the charity, that's what I am now about to attempt. Due to a rule change, which I think I am partly responsible, I have to finish the race on the same day. This time, <laughs> that's the snail, wasn't it? You know it was the snail. This time, my costume is going to be Captain Scarlet and the Mistrons. Throughout the last couple of years, when the future seemed very uncertain, I remember watching Captain Scarlet as a kid. I'm old enough to have seen it in the first broadcast in the 60s. And the fact he always manages to recover and come back for another mission struck a chord with me. Although I will never claim to be indestructible, having previously suffered from leukaemia, fractured neck, two hip replacements, knee replacement, a heart arrhythmia, and now the sarcoma, I think the term reconstructable might be more appropriate. So thanks to my old buddy from Leighton Orient, Mark Backhall, the costume has been sponsored by Allied Hygiene and made by Plunge Creations, who make the amazing costumes for the Masked Singer. My thanks to both of them for enabling me to participate in my final London Marathon as I wished. Please support me on my final 26.2 mile challenge in tribute to those amazing surgeons and to raise funds for an incredibly important charity. Spectrum is green. So I just wanted to read him out and just remind people that even if it feels like you've got, not just that you've got no hope, but that you're useless. Because so many people feel like there's nothing I can do to help. Any little thing can help. And just having a bit of determination and just going, it's not, I'm not going to let it beat me, I'm going to try something else. It's one of the things that keeps people going. And that was the problem with the lady that we had pass. She got to the point where she stopped fighting, she gave up, she didn't want to do it anymore. And that was her choice. But sometimes you get to that crossroad where you have to make that choice. And I think Lloyd Scott there is proof that you can make the right cho make the choice sometimes and keep going. So yeah, the details are on our Facebook page if you want to support him, or even if you're just watching the London Marathon on Sunday and you see a guy run dressed as Captain Scarlet, that's our guy. Oh, Thank you. That's my meal the most. I know. Yeah, you're yeah, it's been work. But make you work now. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, has touched me. Oh. He was, he was on our Joe Anderson podcast and he was, um, he was the interviewee for this month and for, uh, for this week and next week and he was telling his story, he was telling about how even when he was little and he was in hospital <coughs> dealing with like his leukaemia and everything, he was taking like his Thunderbirds toys and stuff to the other kids to play with so they wouldn't feel sad and they wouldn't <laughs> feel scared and he's just so inspirational so I wanted to share his story because exactly. not a lot oh. of people are hearing about him. It's put my problems into perspective, <laughs> Am I? tell you. <laughs> Lovely, that was, is that, now we've got to start yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh dear, what can you say about that? Yeah, 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 I will, I will come out and I'll chip over the tablecloth now or something. <laughs> yeah, I think that really has put things in perspective when you get someone like that battles all their life. And, uh, just yeah. Just keeps battling. Just keeps going. Thunderbirds, I'll go. Yeah. And indestructible, <laughs> Captain Scarlet. <laughs> Right, hello everyone. Lovely to be back here again. What a great turnout. It's lovely that people are still supporting this centre. So, um, is there anyone new here who has never seen a medium work before? Good. You're no right. virgins, we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we sacrificed them last week. We did, we? Yeah. yeah, that was last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, virgins are quite to come now, they might get further to the stake or something. They know me so. too well. <laughs> Sorry. Joking aside, right, we have to have a bit of a joke to lift up the Yeah, so raise the vibrations. And everything. Right, so for those who haven't seen me before, I feel the energy of the spirit world, so it's all about perceiving what they are trying to impress upon us. We don't have someone standing there chatting, so if you've got passwords and anything like that, don't work. So it's just 
us working out what the spirit world have given us to give to you and it's symbolisms and it's oh, just making something of it and I always say it's a bit like charades and give us a clue, all that so all I'm asking for, oh we've got people over here as We're well everywhere today <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> um, what I'm asking you to do I can't remember now is think outside the box if you know some of the information that I'm giving but there's a bit of it you're not sure about still make yourself know no sitting there waiting I need a bit more need a bit more the spirit world near to hear, need to hear your voice so we can strengthen that connection then we can work with it okay actually I'll stand over this way oh, I feel like I'm sitting on their lap <laughs> right now um Let's see what we get. Right, I've got a lady with me who is a right character. I really, really like her. I don't feel as though she passed at an old age, and I don't want to be rude to anyone here who's at a lovely age. Um, what I want to say is she didn't reach her late 80s. I want to say she's more middle age, maybe 50s, 60s. But she was quite a character. I feel as though that she... Um, lived on her own, wasn't in a relationship, that she most probably had some bad relationships in her life, but I'm not sure about that. But everyone liked her. She was one of these women that everyone would, what's the word, gravitate to. So I feel like she could be someone's <coughs> friend. And she was a little bit of a social, not a little bit, actually she was quite a social butterfly. Does anyone know? Here, know this lady at all now that all their people are miserable. That's it. <laughs> right, so does anyone understand this lady at all? If there's a little bit of that you don't understand or I may have got wrong, then I can work with it. But if you understand most of it, it's fine. So I've got this lady. She um, is absolutely wonderful. So, person that you could talk to. She could put things in perspective for you, but she's making me feel quite weak. I feel as though she went into hospital for an operation and didn't come out. Does anyone understand that at all? No? It's funny because I did feel over here and no one understands it. I might have two here. Let me start with the um, social bit, first of all. Does anyone understand a lady in about her 50s or 60s who is quite a social butterfly, really down to earth, be the, the life and soul of a party or a works gathering, be first on the dance floor, having a right, oh, I'm not saying she went to nightclubs and things, this would be like um, you know, family do's or work do's, that sort of thing. Does anyone understand, say if I've got the age wrong, does anyone understand that bit without the age? No? You do? Yeah, but she wasn't that old. She was younger? Right, so that's... Do you understand about going into hospital and not coming out? No, that's the bit done. Right. Let me see, just in case I might have, have two. Sorry, I don't want to put my, my back to you. Right, I did feel... Right, let me get this a bit here. No one else understands any of that before I try and work with this. So you just know so was she like thirties, forties then? Yeah? Okay, can it forties ish. <laughs> Did she look a bit older? I wonder, was she poorly? Yeah, can I hear your voice? Yeah, she was. Yeah? The end. Yeah, and did she look like she was a bit older? I feel weak at, with her. Yeah, um, yeah, because I feel weak. I just, I've, as I was standing there and say, I feel tired. Do you understand that? But you understand about the social butterfly thing? Yes. Yeah? Love. And, and the sort of person, because also, right, I'll tell you why my, she makes me feel older as well. Not just because of that feeling tired. I want to say she had an old head on young shoulders. Definitely. Quite, yeah? That's it, though, because when I said, I said, I'm feeling it now, lovely, because when I said that she's the sort of person you could go and talk to, and she put in, because she was so mature and worldly wise, she's put in to me. Um, but I feel tired, she's making me, 
sit at a table and I'm feeling like this. Yeah. But you don't understand about her going into hospital, not coming out. You don't understand that bit. That's actually fine. We're going to put that to one side. But will I be right? Did she go into hospital at some point? She did, but she, she, didn't, she did come out of that. Um, right, I'm trying to feel what that... Then, if I misunderstood that, was there a time when she was in hospital at point that you thought that she might... That she went down, but then she rallied round again. Yeah. <coughs> right. Because I felt then she did come out. Okay, let me get a little bit more. This lady is such a laugh. Do you, you understand yeah. that? Sorry. And and she is the sort of person people gravitate to. Yeah. She's just giving me that that feeling. Oh, yeah. She she could be this. Um, person she'd just sit and listen you could be crying and talking and she would just take all it all in huh? all the time all the time yeah she'd just take it all in <laughs> like a therapist <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> bless her right let me but i still got this thing in my head did she pass then quicker than expected yes right because i felt this one minute I'm here, then then I'm not. I I want to sit on the edge of my bed and I feel tired and everything. Um, right, because she's not let me know what she had wrong with her. She's not let me know the circumstances as she passed. Did she pass in her sleep? No, no, she. Uh, okay, I just feel as though. Some, so there are, I've got someone else coming near with me. Let me just um, get a little bit more from... But she, as I'm asking her to come closer, I'm getting this feeling of her. She is laughing and bubbly and just this. So she wants you to know that she's close to you. So you all knew her, but are you all close to her? Yeah? Oh, right. Because obviously you're the one who answers and I'm just coming straight to you. But then she's doing this. So I just wanted to make sure... Um, I feel as though it's been a few years, but there's still, she's still in everybody's minds and people still talk about her. But there is, right, well, do you understand the month of June at all with her? Was it a birthday, her passing, or something particular about that month? Um, or memory or something? It's my birthday, and she'd always... She always came out herself. Oh, it's your <coughs> birthday. It's not hers, is it? No. And she's... And she's oh, I don't know. Because she's just giving me... June, she's giving me all the sunshine, and I'm seeing fields and lovely flowers. She's just... It's like... She's showing me a field with all these flowers, but it's like the sun's coming up behind it. But I think she's showing that to me as a metaphor, more than anything, as, as a symbolism. That's what she's doing in her garden. I watch the sun come up. Ah, because she's all because she's saying about rising up, and the sunshine coming. And she liked what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Flowers is like the wild flowers, like the poppies and stuff. Yeah, and she's got. Oh, so because that's because I thought I've seen a field and oh, did she live in a space that's quite not no. too built up? No. Oh, it was ah, because she's making right. She, would, she liked open spaces, she liked the countryside, so that's why she's got the wildflowers. Because I'll tell you, we'll get, so I've got the wildflowers here, then <coughs> there's a big space and I'm seeing the sunrise, so it might be my logic here, because I felt like, yeah, I've seen that, and that's when she made me feel about the June and everything else. It's not the beginning of June, your birthday, is it? It is. Not the third. Second. Second, all oh, right. <laughs> I just saw a freak, so I thought I'd go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's close. Yeah. Maybe she's having trouble getting her numbers. No, she's going, no, I've got it right, I've got it wrong. No, she always <laughs> told me it was the third and I yeah. was wrong. Oh, my God! <laughs> so it is, yeah, because yeah. that's she, she's... Yeah, yeah. always told me I was wrong. Yeah, because so, that's right, what she's telling me, yeah. <laughs> oh, bless her. Right. Okay, so that's me. Now, what she wants to say, because she showed me this sunrise, which I thought was a metaphor, but it, but you... No, understood what she's trying to show me, but she is uh, about living for the day each time the sun comes up, being grateful. 
Oh, she used to be like a bit like your friend, I suppose. Every time you see the sunrise, I'm grateful for another day. And she's just saying about you, rising up. And I think she just wants to give you that as a symbolism. And she's pleased that you all still mark her and remember her. So I'm going to leave her love. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking her. Thank you very much indeed. Lovely lady. Okay. Okay. Are you doing the wee drawings all right? Oh, I've got a dude. <laughs> She's got a dude. <laughs> right. Right, I have got a lady I know passed suddenly. Or does anyone understand a lady that went into hospital, thought it was going to be a routine operation, although it was quite serious and she didn't recover. I feel as though that... Oh, she had the operation, everyone think, thought she was doing okay, and that she was going to be moved to another ward, but then she deteriorated and never come round. Does anyone understand that at all? Is this, do you know this? We do, yeah. Yeah? Oh, you can see. See, I, felt, I can see that in the eye. As long as you've got to grab them. <laughs> Are you right if I um, work with you? Yeah, I've, I've, I'm all right. Sorry, I've, I've come over here. <laughs> right, okay. So, I've got this lady, bless her, she went into hospital. What I feel is, it wasn't around her stomach, was it, the operation? Well, yeah. Around that area, yeah, or, yeah, or, or, yeah. Yeah, or ladies' things, was it, or something? Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, it was lady. <laughs> She's just doing this to me. <laughs> right, um, okay, so she went in. What was a routine operation, although quite serious, but routine. Um, I'm recovering because she's shown me being in the recovery room and going to be put on the ward. She wasn't in intensive care for a little while, was she a high dependency unit? Yeah, yeah she yeah. was, yeah, because yeah, that's what she So <coughs> when I said about recovery room, she just put in my head, No, I was in there, then they was going to move me to a ward, yeah. and because they thought she was recovering. And then she went down. <coughs> but she's not let me know the actual cause of death. Uh, oh no, if we don't, she said, don't say that word, sorry. Of course, of her passing. <laughs> um, so it was a complete shock, but she's another lady, like these people's lady. Mm -hmm. Absolute, a laugh, lovely. But <laughs> she's saying she's one of these people that could act serious. Or try to be serious, and it never worked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it went. I don't like this. <coughs> oh, I want to say that the time she tried to be prudish and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah, it went, oh, that is naughty. And then it went, <laughs> yeah. So this, she's just a wonderful one, and of course she's a lady of a certain age, so it might be why I was feeling that as well. So I think I might have had the two coming together. Because she's saying age is just a number, and it was, yeah, yeah. it's quite quite a laugh. So you both know her, and it's like she wants to put her arms around the both of you. And when she passed, it was like a big hole, and I know that's the same with everybody, yeah, yeah. but it's a big hole. So are you friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because she's, she's saying we're about not friends, aren't we? No, yeah. we're sisters. <laughs> are you? Yeah. You're friends, but she a friend. Oh, she's, no, a she's a sister. sister. She's yeah, sister. Yeah. Well, 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 oh, you're a sister. Right. Yeah, right. Sister. Okay. <laughs> That's because I'll tell you, because I'm doing this because she's like putting you, the three of you close together, and obviously, you know what Willow gets up to. So she sounds like the, the, the three witches of Eastwick. <laughs> I was scared for a second, and I'm like, what did I do? <laughs> I was like, what did I do wrong? Oh, what do you know that I don't? What are they telling you? <laughs> you? You do it all in love and light, don't you, darling? Unless you've got the ump. Yeah. That was mean to me, then, yes. <laughs> yes. Do a bit of hexing. Sorry. <laughs> no, and that's what she's doing, because she's bringing you all together. Yeah. And she's saying, I'm going to laugh over so like the three witches of Eastwood. So I thought you were friends. <laughs> and she said, oh, you must be really good sisters then. That's all I can say. 
and, and she's saying, I'm still there with you. So you three must have been really close. Oh, been, yeah. yeah, no wonder she's saying that. Yeah. <sighs> right. Oh, she won't shut up now. She's <laughs> giving me holidays, but I'm not going abroad at the moment. I feel so I'm in this country, I'm on the East Coast. Because she's given... Oh, was that... Does that into Clacton ring a bell? Going back way, Ben. Way, Ben. Way... Yeah, 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 I know. She's got up because all she's shown, and I'm asking her to build it out, and she's fun, then, then suddenly come, but then it's collected. Yeah, it's been closed donkey's years, isn't it? Or gone. So she's going, is that your childhood memories? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and the caravan holidays as well? Mm. Yeah, is Margate mean, mean anything? Or, or what's the one, Ramsgate? In... No? It's still somewhere, is it? Oh, you went really somewhere. Come. But anyway, if you can't remember, oh, that's fine. She just wants you to remember the, the memories and not to worry because she's saying, I, I didn't suffer that much, it's fine. You know, she, she's saying, I'm tough as old boots. That's what she wants to say. <laughs> All right, so I'll leave her now. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you. you. <sighs> right, Angelie is a circle member of mine, so I've dragged her along. <laughs> You know, I'm sure she's got something better to do on a Friday night. But <laughs> so she's come to two, have a little go, get some experience. So be yeah, kind. kind. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll hand over to Angelique. Okay. <laughs> okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's really nice to see such a big turnout. Yeah. I'm not always seeing men, but you know, some <laughs> Yeah, there's actually quite a few men. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So it's um <clears throat> Pauline said, I'm a circle member, and um, you know, geez, if I if I do well, it's all down to Pauline. If I do badly, it's her. Fault. It's that, it's that, yeah, it's down to me and all. Blame <laughs> me if you want. Everyone else seems to be tonight. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm laughing so much, I'm choking. Sorry. <coughs> so how I work is I see um, things in my mind's eye, and I can feel things as well. Um, sometimes I know them, I don't actually hear anyone talking to me. So if I say, oh, he's saying this or she's saying that, I just get like the sense of what they're trying to say. So it's not verbatim and I'm not actually saying it word for word at all. It's, I'm just putting into words what I can feel. Okay, so you have to make allowances for that. Okay, so I am very aware of a gentleman who joins me. And I know this man <coughs> lived to, because um, he's shown me himself, um, probably late 70s, 80s. So I know he made quite old bones there. Um, I know that in his later years, he <coughs> didn't have much of a voice. But he tells me that when he was younger, he was fit. I mean, he was a fit man. And I know that he did a lot of um, work, manual work. Um, with his hands here, well, manual work is, isn't it? And he, and he also shows me uh, big gloves that he put on because to, to protect his hands while he was doing the work. Now, I don't want to overload you with uh, information there, but can anybody take a gentleman like this? Lived quite an old age. Um, I know that when he was um, older, his voice box, or he, he got very hoarse when he spoke, because that's what I'm hearing at the moment. But when he was younger, he was really fit. He's a very physical man. Can anybody take a gentleman like this? Maybe. Maybe? Okay. Maybe. So you can take most of it, one yeah. bit, yeah, yeah. all most of it, it. What most can you of it, yeah. most of it, okay. So you can take the gentleman, do you understand the voice when yeah. you got older? <coughs> You can, and would you understand a very kind of physical man when he, in his youth? Yeah, yeah. And he works, um, uh, did a lot of manual work. Yeah. And would you understand the gloves that he wore? That's the bit I don't understand. You don't understand, okay. That's all right, he's probably just making me aware that, you know, he did a lot of work with his hands. I don't actually know why he would show me the gloves, but if you don't understand that, that's, that's absolutely fine. <coughs> okay. Would you understand a wiry man? Would you, would you know what I mean by that? Um, he was stockier, actually. Okay, because I'm seeing him, he was a very strong man. Yeah. Um, strong. But I'm seeing him actually quite, 
quite wiry, but you're yeah. saying he's, he's stockier than that. <clears throat> okay, would he uh, have been tall? Yeah. Because that's what I'm seeing. And, you know, when they're tall, they look slimmer. Yeah, he was. This was like a For you as well. Okay. Uh, just one moment, I'll see where I'm going. So, you understand everything? Yeah. The gloves as well. As well? Okay. Ah, uh, okay. The lady understands everything. Yeah, that's one. Okay, but please keep listening because uh, sometimes you get two. You know, that's why you have to be quick. Together. Put your hands up. Yeah, otherwise it would come. But thank you for speaking up anyway. But you understand everything. You understand the wiring. Yeah. The wiringness. Okay. Okay. Um, these gloves. Would you understand working with sheet metal? No, it's a brick one. Oh, do you know, I was going to say that next. Yeah. So don't, don't say any more because you're kind of you're giving me the information and they're not going to believe me now that I was going to say that next. <laughs> Please believe me, I really was. But I so he was a brickie. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay. Now, when, we, when I was sitting there, he gave me the impression that um, he was a bit of a rogue. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it's a bit of a rough, but in a sense, of, would you understand being knuckle fighting here? I think he used to fight when he was young, but not as a bare knuckle fighter. Mm, okay, not, no, not as a fighter, but it's almost like he got involved in skirmishes and got involved in fights, and he was quite kind of free with the old fists. Mm. Was that that blood there? It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> okay. He's saying, yeah, yeah. Possible, it's possible. Okay, because uh, you know what they do is so they give me a bit of information which you might not necessarily know, but they feel quite free to be honest now. Okay, so that's that's what he's showing me. That's what he's giving me. <coughs> okay. okay. So he would have worked. So would you understand a chest condition now when you got older because of the you know the, the throat and everything? Um, he's giving me, I don't even know if this is right, but I, we don't say asbest, asbestosis. Not similar to. Similar to that, okay, because I'm really getting that sense of the hard to take the breath and all of this is all kind of gunged up in there, okay, and so that's, that's what I'm getting from him. Um, I know that he was a bit, like I say, he was a bit of a rug, but also a bit of a cheeky chappy. Um, I, I just get the sense of a, a quite a cheeky sense of humour. Yeah. Okay, that's I guess that's what I meant by cheeky chappy. But you would understand this. Yeah. Okay, that's lovely. Okay. This is family member. Yeah. Mm, okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't push it any further because I'll say something and go, oh, no, it's not. It's not like. <laughs> I'll leave it at family member, okay, because I need to I need to work on that. Feel <laughs> like who it is. Go for it, mum, dad. Well, it won't be your mum. All right. Tell you. <laughs> Never know these days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those days, yeah. women and women, men with men, and actually he is very much a man's. I feel like he was a man's man, and you would understand this too. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to see why he's come forward to... Um, well, basically, can you take me to touch base with me? Okay. Oh, okay. What I feel here is that he had a lot of time for you. Would that make sense? You might have thought so. Yeah, I think for all of us. So, okay, but not all of you are here, but I'm just directing me to, to you. Um... Okay, he's, he's uh, taking me to his brick lane thing, okay, um, and I know that, oh, okay, he gives you the sense you're, that there's something you are building as well, I don't mean with bricks, right, okay, you'll have to now come away from the physical bricks, but something that you are building, yeah. would you understand this? Yeah. Okay. Um, and the message for you is that just like bricks go down one at a time, row by row, things need to be like patted in there and patted on there and, you know, made sure, take your time. 
Okay, because of Rome and walls are not really built in a day. All right, and so he just wants you to be aware and take your time. Would that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there is this kind of danger to push it along and rush it through. Something will fall through the cracks if you do. Okay. So I want to leave this off with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> oh, I was leaving with a dry throat. Mm. Okay, let's see who else I've got to turn forward. And thank you for being patient. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm, I know I'm joined by a lady now, and uh, I don't often get them, and when I do, they're not always right. <laughs> so, however, if she's giving it to me, and I'm just going to have to say it, Maisie, the name Maisie. Okay. In the first instance, now, it might just be something that's floated into my mind, and I don't want to keep holding on to it if, that's, if it's just a nothing. Um, can anybody take or is familiar with the name Maisie in their family with a lady who's in spirit. Doesn't have to be her name. You are okay. So I'm gonna see if I if I can get any more because names are not really yeah my thing. Well, not at the moment, but <laughs> I am working on it. I'll get yeah. there. I'll get there. Okay. I know with this this lady. She just shows me that she was. Um, Hmm. Would you, oh, excuse me, would you understand um, um, uh, that she would have, <sighs> she would have wanted women to be dressed in dresses and skirts and not trousers? Mm. Not, you can't remember, okay, alright, so maybe I can't, maybe Mosey doesn't, you know, belong there, but I know this lady was a real kind of woman's woman, if you like, just like your man was a man's man. And I know that for her, dressing dresses is important to her and not really trousers. Um, she's really old school, is what I want to say. Um, can anybody take a lady like this? I might be able to. Aha, uh -huh, a voice. Yeah. I thought she was getting fidgety, so I thought, oh, she oh, can take no, that. I, I might be able to. The lady with, who liked dressing dresses yeah. and thought that that's what she, they be. Yet she never wore trousers, hated no. them, didn't feel comfortable in them. Right, okay, yeah, and very much that's the uh, feeling I get here. But you wouldn't understand Macy with her. Not, it's going to sound really, I do know the name Macy, but I don't, it, it's a very, very random, weird connection, so I don't think it actually, it vaguely connects to her, but very, 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 very vaguely okay, to the point yeah. that I don't think she'd mention it. We so. don't vaguely. No, that's fine. That's probably just some weird one that came in, into mind. Not that Maisie's you, you, you get a lot of random ones here, because this is an age concern centre, so we get a lot of elderly that pop in anyway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you understand this lady who's... <laughs> I feel like with, with uh, this lady, um, there's a sense of propriety and a sense of doing everything, you know, it has to be just so. Mm -mm. That wouldn't make sense no, with her? No. Okay, I'm looking elsewhere then because yeah, this, this is not, this is who I've got. Yes, she, yeah. No, no, it wasn't like that at all, no. Okay, so I'm going to throw it out again. Okay. If... I haven't got it quite right about the lady not wanting to wear trousers or thinking that, you know, women should be dressed in dresses and skirts and your person on, on occasion wore trousers. Bring that in, but um, would you understand then also that, um, you know, she had a sense of doing things, there was a particular way of doing things, things had to be in the right place, right time, just so. She was very much a just so lady. Can anybody take that? No? So we're going on the just so lady now, never mind. 
But she liked to wear dresses. Yeah. She liked to wear dresses. But didn't mind trousers now and again. Can you take can you take that? Possibly. Our door's over, she said no. It's possible. I'm sorry, I'm, I missed what you said. I thought so, but she said no. Uh, okay, so... I thought it was her now. No, so did you. No, it's, it's... Yeah, it could possibly. Uh, okay, but... You know, it's really Ugh. kind of... You're not too yeah. sure, but your daughters are sure. Mm. Okay, it's interesting, isn't it? Well, she did use to like her pick-up times. Yeah. Everything had to. Everything has a place and a place for everything. Yeah. Uh, this is what I've got. Yeah. But you, you don't want to take yeah. her? Yeah, I'll take her. <laughs> <laughs> if it's my nan, I'll take her. <laughs> Just take her home. <laughs> she's free, take, she's free, take her. I'd love to. What about the dresses? Yeah, she did like my girls in their dresses or... That to be feminine. Yeah. 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 Right, okay, because it, it, you know, it matters, this is what I'm, yeah. I'm getting, and, uh, you know, if you're accepting it now, I am thoroughly relieved, I have to say, yeah. um, that's, that's fine, but you, okay, and would you understand, she's given me a tea service, and your daughter's laughing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And you will done have we changed people now? No. No, okay. It is who they think it is. It's a, okay. All right. So uh, you understand the tea yeah. service. Um and it's very important for her. Uh, she didn't like she didn't do mugs. No. No. Had to be <laughs> cup and saucer. Yeah. And we had to do it right. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, to the extent of no bags either, tea bags something. Not when she was, when I was a little bit younger, but when I got older she did. What, you see bags? Yeah, eventually. Eventually, no, but I mean sort of um, originally. No, it, it was all part of tea, tea leaves. leaves. Tea leaves in the little <coughs> Absolutely, no, she had, she, she absolutely knew what she wanted as well. And I do understand, I do get the sense with your nan, your nan? Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, we are going back, okay. Do get the sense with your nan that, um... Manners were everything, definitely. And she would not, absolutely not, um, you know, put up with anything less than. Nope. Right, okay. <clears throat> and, and I do feel as well with, her, with your nan that everyone had to mind their P's and Q's because uh, she had a, a, quite a tongue. Would you understand that? Not really quite a tongue, she was a classic lady. She didn't tell you off? Oh, she could tell you off. Okay, too. right, that, I mean, that's what I meant by that. Yeah. I'm not talking about, she, I didn't mean that she was a, um, you know, a, a chatterbox or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, she could tell you. But she could, and, she, and you absolutely knew, she'd absolutely get to the heart of it as well. And you really thought she had eyes at the back of her head. She did. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Some people true. do. Some people do. It's true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I'm seeing poppies. Poppies here. Poppies. Not. They're not. They're painted. No. She used to like keeping hold of her um, poppy day poppies. Ah. Okay. These weren't. I knew they weren't real poppies. They're not growing in the garden or anything like that. But you're telling me about the. Poppy day poppies, okay. That's what that's what she must be giving me then. Okay, so um Um and I feel as well she would have been a very patriotic lady. Yeah, the Queen and Country. Okay. Would you understand um a Jubilee I don't even know which Jubilee it was now, but it wasn't, it wasn't Elizabeth's. It would have been before that. <coughs> uh, you've got um, a memento. That's the word I'm looking for. It's either Jubilee or Coronation. 
She's bringing my mind to uh, the you know next coronation. You can't think. You can't. Okay, that's all right. That's fine. Would you understand then that um, when there was anything <coughs> to do with the royals, uh, that she would make a, a big deal at home of it? I wouldn't say she'd make a big deal, but she would bake she, and... She, oh, that's, for me, that's a big deal, because I <laughs> wouldn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. But she would commemorate it. Yeah, she'd, uh, she'd do cakes. Yeah, okay. That's, that's absolutely fine, because it's, uh, for her, it was important to mark this, uh, anything to do with the royal family. Okay, and she would mark that. Okay. So I'm just going to see why she's come forward, because I know that you've already had a, um, a message, but... Um, obviously she was here for a reason. Okay. Um, would you understand her passing anniversary coming up soon? You'd understand that. Okay. And she would really like a commemoration of that. Okay. It's like she okay, she doesn't think that, you know, it happens often enough. Um, she's not remembered. Oh she is. Her passing date? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I don't mean you that you've forgotten all about no, her. No, I just in within the last four years she's further back than where she should be. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I guess that's what she's referring to. I just know that she wanted to be you know, in the forefront a bit more. Yeah. And her, her um, anniversary is coming up. Um, but would you please do something and okay. remember her? Okay. Thank you. And make it a family occasion because family was everything. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay. Thank I'll you. now leave a look with you. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Well done. Thank you. Oh. It. You've done that. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, as I was sitting there, I was feeling the energy of a younger man, and anyone under the age of 40 is young to me. So, but I feel so this younger man's got quite um, what was I say, young face, baby face. But what he's doing is showing me a picture of him standing next to a car that is his pride and joy, and I know that he actually passed in this car that he had a car accident, that he crashed it. Um, and I do know there was other people in the car with him, some friends, including a girl. Does anyone understand this at all? Mm. A young man in the spirit world. Don't forget, Mark, not have to be directly connected to you, but you may know it could be a family friend, belong to a family friend or anything like that. So let's just start with this. A young man... I don't feel as though he had this car long. It was his pride and joy. Does anyone know of a young man who passed in a car crash? Let's start with that first. In his own Hi. So we understand that bit. And was he um, maybe in his 20s? Yeah, 21. 21. And do you understand having sort of youngish looking face? Yeah. And he had this car that was his pride and joy? We don't know, we don't know that bit. But you understand him passing in a car crash? Yeah. But it wasn't his car? It was his car. Oh, right, but you don't understand about the picture. That's the bit yeah. that he's trying to say. That is absolutely fine. It might be just the way he's because he's showing me. Don't ask me what car it is because I ain't got a clue. But he's just standing in <coughs> the picture, or why well, he's showing me the picture next to a car, and he's so I, I've got this car, I'm proud of it, you know, and all, all this. But, and, and was I right about other people being in the car with him? No, he was on his own. Because no, I've got a girl as well. Did he have a girlfriend? Uh, no idea on that one. I haven't seen him before. Oh, you haven't seen him. It's actually fine. I'm going to put that to one side. No one else understands this at all. It's you. You, you as well. You do. Right. Let me, I'm going to work with you. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start with you, but you understand about a car crash with a girl in the car? Not in the car. Oh, that's fine. Do you understand 
A young man. A man yes, a young man, but um, I'm not quite sure if the girl, his girlfriend, was in the car. Right, because he's just showing me a girl and I thought she was in the car. But do you know if there's other people in the car? I think, <coughs> I think he's on his own. He's on his own. Okay, so it might be good. Let, I'll work with this, okay? But you understand all that as well? Yeah, just not the girl in the car. Not because I keep seeing a girl and I thought she was in the car. It's absolutely fine. Okay, you don't mind if I work this gentleman, do you? He doesn't mind if I No, no, no. <laughs> but they've had a couple of messages and she's here. <laughs> Right, let me let me give give this a go. Um, right, I don't know why I'm being made aware of other people. Do you know the circumstances? Have you been out with friends or anything? I know you're talking to my back from friends. Oh, because I've just seen other people, so I thought you might be out the, and that's off getting the feeling of friends, but I thought that was in the car. Okay, so I was just wondering why I was getting that. Right. Um, let's get a little bit more about him. Um, you, you say you're going back a bit now. Oh, this is... <laughs> not saying you're on. It's a friend of yours. <laughs> or someone you knew. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's get a little bit more about him. Not, not a big built fella at all. He was quite slim. And that's why he looked quite boyish. I know he was a boy, but you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know, he, he, I want to say he looked younger than he he was. Um, I'm just because that's why he's, he's coming across. <coughs> Let's get a little bit bit more about him. I want to say he's such a nice fella. Yeah. I don't feel a lot of trouble with him. You're going to say he was. No. No. no yeah. Yeah. Right. Good. If you give me your voice, it, it helps a bit. Yeah. Cause just, <laughs> okay. Because, right, so he's given me the feeling of not being any sort of trouble. He was, he was a nice fella, and I don't get the impression from him he was a bit of, you know, none of this big I am thing or anything. He just, he's just impressive, but I'm just normal. But he was making waves with friends, and I can't get rid of about this girl, so maybe she's hanging about somewhere. Um, it's funny. Let me, um, right, because also the other reason why I feel like it gave me that feeling because it's, I know we're going back a long time, but in the spirit world, time is nothing. And he's just making me aware of everybody he'd hurt and upset because he crashed the car. Yeah. And because that feeling, I thought it was someone else had passed as well and he had regrets of that. But I'm going back into his energy, it's because he regrets of what I'm because I don't I wanna say the crash was his fault. Does that make sense? Yeah. And that's why he's given me that, that <coughs> feeling. And the hurt he got and everyone being devastated and etc etc and his family. So that's <coughs> why he's, he's just making me feel about the regret. But he's saying that so you he, well, he's not just someone you just knew, he was actually friends, because he's saying about the laughs and everything you had together. Yeah. And you weren't amongst that group of friends who went, he was visiting that day? No. no. And he's, um, he certainly wants to slap you on the back, yeah, about the laughs and that, because although, you know, he's this lovely fella, and although, not saying that you've got to have, be in trouble to have fun, but he's just making me aware we had some laughs again, we had fun, and and he was just so proud to have this car, and he, he spoiled it. But I don't know what he wants to say to you, but he's so pleased that people still remember him. So do you still see your old friends? He was an old school friend. Yeah, do you see anyone from school? No, but this, we, we Three or four of us still keep in contact. Right, and it's like, does he get mentioned now and again? Yeah. Ah, because he's saying, because that's what he's making me feel. He's glad he still gets remembered. And it's in a nice way, having the laughs. Oh, because he was quite cheeky. Yeah. Uh, cheeky chap, and he, he, he did mind a little bit of mischief. Um, but he was just so, so nice. So I can't find out why he wants to come through. I, 
It's not just saying, oh, I feel it is because of the regret. And I know, as I say, it's ages ago, but it just, it just regrets of the knock-on effect and how it's hurt people, of his actions. And people couldn't believe it when they found out that he passed. And he just wants to say that, that he's... So he wants to say sorry, and that's what made me feel other people, this group of friends he was showing me, I thought it was actually other people was in the car with him, and that's what he was feeling sorry about. But no, I think he just wants to say, because of the knock-on effect that it had, and I feel as though there's someone close to him, or maybe in his family, who, who suffered trauma since that, and that's what he regrets. But he wants you to remember the lovely times that you had together. So I'm going to leave that for you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. For and if you could take me that and you can take anything, that's fine. <laughs> oh, we'll go with that. Right, um, I'll do one more. Yeah, just a quick, quick one in. Okay, okay. Quick, okay. She's good to Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she's not choked me out. Lock the door out. <laughs> right, I've actually got a child. Um, I don't get the impression this is that long ago. Um... This child, it's funny because you're saying about, not funny, ha-ha, but um, you're saying about this gentleman being in hospital and everything with cancer. I'm seeing this child in a hospital bed, got tubes. I did get the impression, first of all, that this child did have cancer. I want to say he, I feel it's a boy. Um, I find it difficult with ages, but it could be like 8, 9, 10. Um, and... But as I say, he's got these tubes, but he's, in, he's smiling. But it looks like he's got bandages around his head and that. So I find it quite difficult. Or it might be because he hasn't got no hair and they've got a thing around his head. I also want to put out that Great Ormond Street Hospital. Now, if I'm wrong with that, then... Sorry, but I, the, the child is the most important thing. As I say, I felt cancer, but if I'm wrong then forgive me, but I could see this child, I feel as a boy, in the hospital bed, smiling, but he's got all tubes in him. I can't see no hair, looks like it's got a bandage or something on his head. Does anyone understand this child at all? Just me to finish on one no one can take. A child in hospital. Can you take this? I know someone, but he's a bit older. And that's fine, how old? Uh, 15. Oh. A bit older. Yes. I say it's a bit, it's quite a bit older. No, it doesn't matter. I work with this because it might be just the way it's, it's shown me in the bed. Because it, I'm, I'm seeing clairvoyantly this child in in a hospital bed, and it made me feel young. I feel child, but if it's fifteen, that's fine. Um, do you understand what I'm saying about the tubes and, and the <coughs> bandage? Was it cancer? Yeah, bandage. Oh, oh, that's why I'm seeing the bandage around the head. Mm. Oh, that's and he's smiling. Mm -hmm. It's and, and do you understand Great Oldman Street? No, that's oh, a bit. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's my own logic coming in. Right. Or do you know? Has there been charitable events or anything to do with the hospital? Uh, they've had money donated to the hospital. Well, the one he was in, not Great yeah, Oldman Street. Yeah. Oh, Matt. Yeah, because I've got Great Ormond Street, then we're going on about fundraising that, so maybe it's just the way, it you all know, just my logic coming in there. Um, as I'm talking with him, I've been in quite a bit of emotion here, so you've knew him well. Well enough. Well enough. So, in fact, friends of the family or something? I'm a counsellor, he was my client. Oh, bless him, because he made me feel emotional, so you've got that uh, feeling there. Um, right. Isn't that. Now, I know this is a bit of a cliche, but he showed me in a football shirt. Do you understand that? Uh, it, oh, you don't understand that? Yeah. Oh. So you don't know if he liked football or anything? I think he was more rugby. But, oh, maybe it's a rugby shirt. Yeah. I, mean, I know it's some sort of, but it's baggy. It's on him look, looking loose. So, and it, yeah. Right. Let's see what he's got to say. He's just got a cheeky smile, got freckles and that on his face. He's just like, he's got this, as he's beaming. And he was another, because I think what sparked it off is what Willow was saying, because this child was very, um, oh, what, what's the word I'm saying? Upbeat. Mm. 
and didn't let things get him down. And he would do anything, the fundraising, and et cetera, et cetera. And, and he would try all sorts of things. Yeah. And he, so that's, I feel like, what brought it on. Because now he's shown me him, right, I want to say he had trouble with his mobility as well. Because it's, it's like he had trouble with his head, but it's, it's like now making me feel like I'm trying to walk. Do you understand that? Did it affect him later on? No, it's very short-lived. Oh, it's short-lived? Yeah. Why am I not, why am I being, do you understand? But, he, but even during that short-lived bit, he was at feet and doing things and yeah. everything else. But do you understand, you don't understand about the legs? No. Right, okay. You're, you're not having trouble with your legs or anything, no. are you? No. It's, it's just like I can't... Oh. Right, no, again, I'm trying to figure out what you're trying to put. Yeah, it is all the getting up, making the effort, and going for it. So he wants to say some thank you for helping him get through a difficult time. Though it's short lived, I feel like then he packed ever such a lot in that short space of time. And things he wanted to do, and he, he would say to people, don't worry, I'll be fine, etc. He's just making me feel that way. So it's what he's saying, if you feel down like this, you get get up again. And and he's such an inspiration. And um, he wants to thank you. In fact, I think sometimes he helped you. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that because I feel as though he does want to say thank you. And you did play a big part. In, and I know you're not meant to get emotionally involved with people, but he's left a a thing here with you and that's why I felt that emotion as soon as you said that so I'm going to leave that with you and thank you very much for working with me thank you very much thank you you <laughs> going to make someone do a closing prayer now oh Angie <laughs> please join me in the closing prayer just close your eyes please in the stillness and offer your um, thanks as this is up to your people in the spirit world and also to the divine source. And we do thank you all for being with us, spirit world, joining together with your loved ones here, drawing close to them and helping them to feel that you're still there, that life still goes on and that you're never far away. We thank you for working with myself and Pauline and giving us the inspiration that we needed to get the messages of love and support to everybody who received them here. And we know that even though not everybody got a message by any means, that we know that what you did bring through could have resonated across this whole uh, audience here. We thank you for showing us and being with us. And we now ask you to guide us all to our respective homes and see that we get there safely until we all can be together again. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <coughs>